From the skies above Miami Beach, this might look like the start of the same old spring break. Why Miami Beach? It's the best place to go for spring break. But one thing's already clear. Those flocking to South Beach for some fun in the sun are aware that the rules are going to be very different this year. If you plan on coming to Miami Beach for spring break, don't do it. All of the streets are blocked down here. Do not come down here. The city's high profile campaign to break up with spring break. This isn't working anymore. And it's not us, it's you. Includes videos like this. You can expect things like curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access, DUI checkpoints, $100 parking. All of it coming after violence and bad behavior marred the last few years. During spring break last year alone, Miami Beach police made 573 arrests and impounded more than 100 firearms. Two fatal shootings, including one on Ocean Drive, led to a curfew and a state of emergency. I have a little wire in my brain that the Texas sounds racist, and that's how I knew that Miami Spring Break ad was racist as hell. Now, I've seen a city say that they don't want black people in the city, so they raise the prices and push black people out. Now, that's called justification. We've seen that. But never have I ever seen a city use taxpayer dollars to pay a marketing company to create an ad that said the exact same message. Might I say that marketing company ate. It had just enough of diversity. Hilariously funneled through a topic we're all familiar with, getting broken up with. I argue that they're addressing the common people's frustrations of traffic by causing more traffic. And yes, I can see how this is necessary. But is this really necessary? We're all familiar with major cities having big festivals that bring tourism and traffic. But as we know, Coachella's demographics are very, hmm. Asking Google, when do black people travel to Miami the most? I found out that they travel during spring break the most. Who words, he? Well, 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 that explains all the crime. Well, that was racist too. Crazy ass Florida been having crime with or without spring break. I know you're not talking about crazy ass Florida with Jeffrey Epstein had them kids down there in that bay. Festivals keep the motherfucking bills paid. I couldn't even fathom to see the amount of money that they make during these weekly festivals. Coachella, Mardi Gras, Miami spring break. So you have to ask yourself, why Miami? But we was cool out, like we was, we was locked in. It's the people. I think they're trying to gentrify Miami. Like, I feel like they're trying to make it a more luxurious kind of city. Cause know that ad cost a couple meal, and they make a couple bill off the festival. All right, guys. So we got to talk about the young scholars who apparently are not invited to Miami. Okay, they're not invited to Miami for spring break because the astronauts, year after year after year, every year really, uh, they decide to cause chaos and destruction uh, during spring break, okay? And Miami Beach is saying enough is enough. You are not invited. Now, this is a very fascinating story to me because this is an example of how you get the so-called racial discrimination that the woke revolutionaries love to complain about so much, except this is not really discrimination based off race as much as just discrimination based off behaviors that happen to be exhibited by a group of people who are mainly composed of the same race, right? I mean, that's what it is, okay? But again, you can't blame, you can't blame Miami Beach, you can't blame the city for saying, hey, we are basically going to tell these types of people, don't come here anymore, okay? Because every year, these people have caused chaos and destruction that's probably cost the city millions and millions and millions of dollars. It's probably not even worth it financially or economically to deal with the chaos and destruction that comes as a result of the young scholars um, coming to the city uh, for spring break. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and react to this clip in which the local news media is uh, going to make it uh, pretty obvious <laughs> who this uh, warning is targeted towards. Maybe it's an attempt to break up with spring breakers isn't stopping them from coming. Local time Samir Nefsi is live on South Beach with how things are looking tonight. Samir. Nicole and Calvin, so definitely smaller crowds than years prior. Of course, one thing the city tried to implement this year uh, was to break up with spring breakers, but that included beefing up security measures. We have officers across Ocean Drive right now, and some just congregated outside of what appears to be a nightclub. So the question remains, did the city break up with spring breakers? We're like a toxic ex. You can't break up with it. Toxic ex or not, spring breakers have piled into Miami Beach. As the sun went down and neon signs illuminated. The spring breakers, they have a right to enjoy, but they don't have a right to destroy. I think people just need to control themselves. Unnoticeable police presence vamped up along Ocean Drive, both on foot and cycle. 
The beefed up security comes following recent years where the city has racked up nearly 600 spring break arrests. We dropped our son off at Fort Lauderdale, which was loaded with young people, but here it doesn't seem like there's you know that many. The Spectators talk of the town. Curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access. DUI checkpoints, $100 parking. The city's move to, to break talk. up. This isn't working anymore. With the breakers. Wow. Wow. Look at how the news media is basically blatantly trying to tell the viewer without actually really saying it explicitly who they're trying to prevent or disincentivize from coming to the city. <laughs> These young astronauts, right? Like astronauts that look like this, right? <laughs> again, again they, they, are, they are so blatant with it, okay? This is a rare instance of the news media being very blatant about who the target demographic is, okay? These two individuals... Uh, can accurately describe most of the people that they're telling, hey, we, we don't want you to come here anymore, right? I guarantee you, individuals that look like this are 100% being profiled, right? 100% police are following them around, police are watching them closely, probably, you know, searching them and all types of stuff like that. But hey, at the end of the day, can you blame them, right? How can you be mad about it? Because the city wants the money, right? They, they want people to come to the city to have fun and to uh, patronize the businesses, right? But if it gets to the point where the cons outweigh the pros, the negatives outweigh the positives, right? Then this is what they have to do. They have to say, well, don't come. And if you do come, right, we're going to make sure that, you know, we're going to keep an eye out on you, okay? There's no doubt in my mind there, there's a police officer uh, very close <laughs> to these individuals, okay? If they're down there on South Beach, yeah, there's a police officer, probably a couple police officers surrounded by these individuals, right? Not on camera, okay? And I don't blame them. I don't blame the city. I really don't. Because at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. But it's just so funny to me how the local news media is making it obvious who the target demographic is. <laughs> these are the spring breakers. These are the astronauts that the city uh, doesn't want to come for spring break anymore. And every story that I've covered since... This channel began when it comes to Miami spring break and the chaos and destruction. A vast majority of the people committing the chaos happen to look like these individuals. Now, again, the woke revolutionaries will boohoo on and cry racism is racist. You're targeting blacks, <laughs> right? This is what they'll say. But hey, it is what it is. You bought it on yourselves. Right. You are the reason why this stereotype exists. <laughs> if you weren't exhibiting bad behavior causing chaos and destruction every time there's a spring break in Miami, then they wouldn't do this, right? They wouldn't do it. They'd be happy to take your business. They'd be happy to allow you to come to South Beach and to party and have fun if you could do it responsibly. But you've shown that you can't do it. So now they got to target you. Now they got a stereotype. Now they got a profile because that's in the best interest of the city, the businesses, the residents, okay, to keep it safe. It is what it is. Miami has done a very, very good job of making sure, you know, the safety procedure is in place, but, you know, you can't cancel us. We ain't never breaking up. We staying together forever. I saw something on social media. Somebody put out uh, why not to come here for spring break. I saw that. I thought that was interesting. As for parking. I said, you know what? Since the $100 parking fee, instead of walking, we're going to ride the horses. All right, so as for those uh, safety measures or beefed up safety measures, those will take place Thursday through Sunday, this weekend and next. We're live from Miami Beach. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News. Only on South Beach, you ride a horse for spring break. Yeah, well, like I said, some people will complain about it. They'll boohoo on and cry racism and this, that, and the other, but I don't think it's racist. Um, I think that, honestly, at the end of the day, the city is trying to protect themselves, trying to protect the businesses, trying to protect the citizens. And it's unfortunate that they have to do this. But again, this is what happens when you have, you know, these people go down there for, you know, spring break. You know, it's tax season. OK, so, you know, a lot of people are getting their refund checks. This is the first time they ever been on a plane. Right. It's the first time they ever been in Miami. OK, they, you know, see Miami Vice or something on TV. They watch some reality show and they're down there, you know, taking a vacation of their lifetime, spending their 
uh, tax refund check and, you know, they don't know how to act. OK, so now this is what they have to do in order to uh, keep the peace. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, and uh, we'll see if there is, you know, a lot of chaos and destruction uh, this year in, in, in Miami. Right. I, I hope that, uh, you know, there's peace this time around. I'm pretty sure there will be consider how they're not inviting these people back but um you know it's, it's crazy how the NAA uh cp they don't even have to issue a uh tribal advisory right the black folks to tell them not to come to florida these uh these cities are basically telling black people don't come anyways okay specifically during spring break it's hilarious let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace